Okay, good morning. Welcome to Math for Kids number 86. Special morning video today because I'm not going to be able to be home tonight in time to make our movie. So we're going to keep doing some adding with some Duplo blocks, okay? Yeah. Alright, so we spent the Math for Kids 85 looking at what happens when we added 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 all the way up to some number, right? Yeah. Today we're going to look at what happens when we add odd numbers. Okay, and we're going to do it the same way. We're going to do it by adding forwards and backwards, but first we're going to see what the pattern is. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. It even makes cool geometric shapes. Yeah, it is going to make a cool geometric shape. It's kind of surprising, actually. So, 1. What if we just add the number 1? What do we get? 1 equals 1. Okay, what about 1 plus 3? What do we get? 1 plus 3 equals 4. How about 1 plus 3 plus 5? That what equals is that? 9. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 equals? 16. Wow, very good. You're good at adding those real fast, aren't you? <laughs> okay, do you notice a pattern in the way the odd numbers add up? 1, 4, 9, 16. Do those numbers look familiar to you? Yes, they're all perfect squares. Okay, so what do you think 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 would be? 25. Okay. What about 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11? 36. Okay, we're going to keep going with the 30 with the perfect squares. This is 1 times 1. This is 2 times 2. This is 3 times 3. This is 4 times 4. And it sure look, seems like if we're getting perfect squares, we should be able to get a nice geometric pattern. In fact, probably a square. Square. Okay. So let's see if we can do that. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's let's see. I don't know how this is going to work out, but let's see. Okay. One. One. Do we see any squares? Yes. Yes. In fact, wait, 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 wait. wait. Where's the square? Nice. Good job. Okay. So one plus. Um, actually, you know what, I want to use, I don't have very many greens. I'm going to use the greens for one, and I'm going to use the blues for three. Okay, one plus three. Now we're going to do our forward and backward trick. One plus three plus three plus one. There's another way to get squares too, but we're going to do this, we're going to do our forwards and backwards. Okay, one plus, one plus three, and then we write it backwards, three plus one, right? Yes. And then we, we mash them together. Boom. We get a rectangle. Okay, we get a rectangle, but how many how many times have we added our numbers together? Double. Double. So we should be able to break this apart into two squares. Okay. Can you see how to break it into two squares? Hey, look Oof. at that. So one plus three is a two by two square, and this three plus one ends up being a two by two square. By the way, in this one, you can actually see the one plus three and the three plus one. Do you see them? Yeah. Do you see one plus three inside yeah. of the square? Where is it? Here's one. One and three. three. Okay. So let's do one plus three plus five, and then five plus three plus one. Hold on Wait. one second. Maybe we should use the reds. For yeah, three. we're going to use the reds for the three. One or no, for the five. One plus three plus five and five plus three plus one. Okay, so one plus three, can you count out five reds for me? All right, and count out five reds for yourself. And put them across here. Okay, so this. Great job. Okay, so. We have 1 plus 3 plus 5, and what are we expecting this to add up to? Expecting this to add up to 9. And that should be a 3 by 3 square, right? Yes. Okay. Now we're going to do 1 plus 3 plus 5 and 5 plus 3 plus 1, so we should get two 3 by 3 squares. And the trick is going to be to see if we can find the two 3 by 3 squares hiding inside of this rectangle. Anybody see them? Do you see the two 3 by 3 squares? The ultimate separator. The ultimate separator. Okay, hey, look at that. We get two three by three squares. Now it's not so obvious where how those squares arise, but we can make them by doing the numbers forwards, doing the numbers backwards, adding them together, and then separating into two squares. Do you think it's going to work for one plus three plus five plus seven? Yeah. I hope so. Let's see. Can you count out seven yellow blocks for me, please? Seven plus five plus three plus one. And what, by the way, while you're counting those out, what is this going to add up to? 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7? It should add up to 16. It should add up to 16, and that's going to, that means when we add two of them together, we should get two... Yeah, we have exactly 14, yeah. Oh, do we? Well, that's... That's lucky. 
Okay, one plus three. Five, sorry. One plus three plus five. Can you add it? Put your seven right below the yellow. We're almost out of room on this, so we just gotta be right Careful. below the yellow, right below the red, I meant. And I'll put my seven out like this. And we'll see what happens when we add them together. We're hoping we're gonna find two four by four squares. Okay? Hello. So we got one plus three plus five plus seven, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven plus five plus three plus one. You ready to mush them together? Yep. Okay, let's mush them together. Get our bulldozer here. It's a cool pattern. It is kind of a cool pattern. But what we're hoping we find in this nice little geometric pattern is two four by four squares. Do we get two four by four squares? Can you see where they are hiding, those four by four squares? There they are. Two four by four squares. So this is just another ex nice, fun example of how adding up integers produces really neat geometry. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? Interesting. You wouldn't think that stuff with just integers has fun geometry. And fun patterns, too. But it actually does. And it has fun patterns and everything. It's really, really neat. All right. Good job on this video, sweetie.